my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we emerge from the season of Advent, we prepare ourselves for Christ's presence among us. A child was born in a small town called Bethlehem, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. Then 33 years after his birth, he surrendered his body, carrying the weight of our sins in blood on his back so that the gates of paradise might be opened and the veil between humanity and God might be lifted. In uh, the celebration of the Eucharist, the Word is made flesh, is truly present in our midst. In a way, every Eucharist is enjoying the reality of God made flesh among us. When we visit Christ in the tabernacle, we gaze at the magnificence of the child in the manger. Like the Magi, the wise ones from the East who came to give him homage, we are beckoned towards Jesus, enlightened by the star of grace. God lies within us. The angels that announce his birth, that holy night, are present at each Eucharistic celebration, proclaiming the holiness and might of the infant King. Christ did not come to the world in the form of a powerful noble. Through Mary, he was born of the line of Jesse as a small, defenseless child. This Christmas season, let us thank God for our anticipated Lord, Jesus Christ. His coming into the world is the greatest gift we could ever wish for. I pray for you and your loved ones that you may have a merry and blessed Christmas.